Barrister Ale Ejimako and Barrister Infai Ejofo, the counsels to the leader of the indigenous people Biafra, Mazi Nabdi Kanu, has revealed the current state of their client in the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS. A statement titled, Mazi Nabdi Kanu's detention condition at the DSS amount to torture, jointly signed by the lawyers, said, the secessionist described his stay at DSS headquarters Abuja as harsh, degrading, and inhumane. He accused the Nigerian secret police of confining him to a very tiny cell for about 23 hours of the day without access to sunlight and any social interactions whatsoever within the premises. Kanu alleged that the move was aimed at inflicting extreme emotional and mental distress on him and breaking him psychologically. The statement said that Kanu had instructed them to inform the public that any detainee who encounters and greets him during the single hour he is allowed outside his cell is promptly put in solitary confinement or transferred to maximum security as a punishment for exchanging mere greetings with him. Because of this, other detainees have resorted to avoiding our client and exchanging salutations with him, not to talk of any other form of social interactions, any human being. That DSS has refused to replace his corrective glasses lenses, which were smashed to smith errands by agents of Nigerian government in the process of the violence they unleashed on him while abducting him in Kenya. And this has led to a rapid deterioration of his sight, that he has been restricted to meeting with his cancer in an atmosphere devoid of private discussions with his cancer, and he is oftentimes denied perusa of legal documentation his counsel brings to him to review that he is not allowed to sleep with a pillow and this has led to him developing acid reflux which comes with acute burning sensations in his chest, chest pains and extreme difficulty in swallowing. That on the 17th July 2021, one of his lawyers, the undersigned barrister Alwe Ejimako, was detained and interrogated for hours by the DSS when he came to DSS on visitation to Mazi Nabdi Kanu, Mazi Kanu who witnessed the detention before being led away was very distressed and alarmed by this incident and he considers it a brazen act of intimidation of his counsel that he has to date been denied access to the British consul despite her repeated request to see him. And on the day of his last court appearance, 10th November 2021, the British consul who was in court to observe the proceedings was intimidated by DSS officers who restricted her from coming close to Mazi Kanun. They alleged that since the federal government extraordinary redemption, the secessionist, he has not been allowed a change of clothing, stressing that his Jewish prayer shawls and other religious materials which were brought to him in DSS headquarters by his council were rejected and returned. The statement also stated that the DSS had repeatedly rejected his request for an independent medical examination to determine the extent of damage done to his body by a suspected substance he may have been injected with since he was rearrested from Kenya and detained by secret police. My viewers at home, what's your take, what's your reaction uh, to this as a, a, a Counsels to the leader of the independent uh, 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 state of Biafra, uh, I Pope uh, uh, Mazi Nabdi Kanu's uh, counsels reveal horrible condition of uh, 
and now the Kanu in DSS uh, custody. All right, uh, please uh, do drop your reaction on the comment uh, section and uh, your voice will be heard and clear around the world. All right, the who we'll go straight to the comment section and then uh, it is really horrible regarding a uh, council's uh, regarding what counsels to the leader of the independent uh, state of Biafra, I pope reviews. Uh, 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 about uh, Nabdi Kanu in DSS uh, custody. It is really horrible if you ask me, and uh, your reactions are needed, and uh, we shall do justice uh, to your reaction as you drop your reactions. The first reaction that we have here is from uh, No, uh, okay, number one, and it says that number one is the name, and it says there is a power that is above that of the government. No matter how that government may be, don't forget, government comes and goes. Another government uh, emerges, time will tell the government that rules other governments. That's according to number one, uh, that is the name. What's your reaction to number one's comments here? Please uh, do drop your reaction on the comment uh, uh, section and your voice will be heard and clear around the world. And the uh, number one's comment here has... Uh, one thumbs up uh, that is it then uh, also too uh, we also have a reaction from uh, Kalisco Kalisco says uh, that uh, your plans to invade prison to release him and others will not work Nam the Kanu that was looking very healthy and even challenged DSS officers in the court is not very sick that's the price for his stubbornness DSS detention facilities are meant for human beings like Nabdi Kanu. He should accept his fate and stop complaining. Okay, uh, that is according to Kalisco. And there uh, was a rational to Kalisco comment. Yes, uh, we have one reply to Kalisco comment here. And uh, the reply is from uh, Eli uh, Zarisibu. Eli Zarisibu. And it says, sure he had to bear it. Sure he had to bear it. That is uh, uh, someone replying to Kalisco or comment here. Uh, then uh, also to uh, uh, same persons uh, that replies to uh, Kalisco comment uh, named uh, uh, Ellis Zarisibu also commented again saying that uh, it is not easy to fight with the government no matter how small the country may be. You just need to bear what you are going through, Mazi Nabdikanu, okay? Uh, writing Mazi Nabdikanu there. And this is where we draw the curtain. Time is never a friend. Do join us in the other news and uh, bye for now.